Welcome to Gadero TV. This episode focuses on these market stalls in pre-impregnated timber, available in two sizes. Here's how to assemble them. Over there is the smaller model, but there's also a larger size. Both come in the form of a prefab kit that uses larger than average panels. And the best way to start is by carefully unpacking everything for assembly. This process is basically the same as for any type of log cabin. Sort the pieces together by size to help you keep an overview. So what makes these stalls so popular? Well, the prefab walls have a lot to do with that. There's not too much to do in terms of screwing down boards, making the assembly process quite quick. And the sections that go along the roof are also included ready for use. You can see it's ready for lap jointing with the roof joist for extra stability. And it's very easy to put together. The base of these stalls is their prefab flooring. These sections come three to a pack. Simply overlap them like this. All parts have been impregnated for you. You could add your own color using some wood stain. As you can see, the cladding protrudes slightly past the frame behind it. This way you can simply position it up against the timber floor and screw things down from the top. Naturally, all screws and other hardware are included with these kits. These are two walls, they're positioned alongside each other, and the frame is easily joined up using the large bolt screws. And there you have it, a sturdy enough wall. If you position two wall panels alongside each other, you'll see this unattractive seam along the middle from the outside. And that can be covered up with one of these cover battens right along the seam. Make sure to pre-drill this slat to prevent the ends from splitting. And there's a handsome finish. There are cover battens for the seams along the front as well. Pre-drill like so. And screw them down. Nails for the roofing boards are included as standard. If you plan to use and reuse your market stool, which will mean occasionally assembling and disassembling it, then we recommend that you add a box of screws to your order. 4 by 40 mm screws will do. That makes it easier to remove the roofing boards and reuse them at a future date. You can finish the side view of your roof with these fascia boards. These market stalls come with simple bituminous membranes as standard, but if you plan to use yours for longer periods of time following assembly, then you can add felt shingles for a more deluxe and well-finished look. If you're planning to assemble and disassemble your market stall more than once, then the bituminous membrane is not recommended, because it has to be nailed in place and will tear the moment you remove it. Felt shingles won't be suitable either. Aside from, for example, a reed mat, there aren't many options for temporarily finishing the roof. Certainly the waterproof ones. The door also comes as a prefab kit and the latch can be locked using a padlock, for example, to lock your stall at night if you plan to return to it the next morning. And hinges for the door are, of course, included. The counter along the front of the stall is reinforced using these diagonal braces. Pre-drill before fixing them in place. As mentioned, the walls are joined up using the included screws, which also need pre-drilling. The 
and then simply join up the walls like this. The frame that holds the shutter is prefab, with the diagonal braces already in place. These stalls are excellent for use at a Christmas fair, event or festival, to sell your own products, for example. They're available from stock and delivered to your door. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Want to know more about the other types of stores in our range? Then have a look at our product catalogue at Gadero.com.